My name is Liz, and welcome to our SCX10 product video. The SCX10 is a universal stepping motor controller. It communicates via USB, RS-232, and CAN open communications. It can interface with a PC, a PLC, an HMI, or any other device that can send ASCII strings. It outputs pulse and direction signal. The SCX10 can be used with our GUI software. It's the Immediate Motion Creator software. This is included with the purchase of the SCX10, as well as is available to download on our website. You can store 100 sequence programs, do teaching functions, position and I.O. status monitoring, system parameter settings, and input and output assignments. The SCX10 has an external encoder input. This allows for the function of an external encoder to be connected to the SCX10, which enables the continuous monitoring of the feedback position and position error. It accepts a line driver, an open collector, and TTL input. The encoder connector is located at the bottom of the SCX10. It's an 8-pin connector, and the connector is included with the purchase of the SCX-10. Operation using a PC. You can connect to a PC via RS-232 or USB. The SCX-10 can also be connected via RS-232 daisy chain connection for multi-access control. You can do direct command operation via CAN open and you can also have I.O. control. It's, they're easily configurable for different baud rates and speeds. Here we show the RS-232 and the CAN open. The SCX-10 has nine general inputs and four general outputs. All are programmable. It has both dedicated and configurable outputs on the driver I.O. You can do standalone operation using sensors and switches. You can do this by utilizing the nine general inputs and four general outputs to select the desired sequences. This is an example of the system configuration for an SCX-10. The SCX-10 with a 25-pin sub-D connector connects to the driver for the pulse and direction signals. Assuming your motor has an encoder, the external encoder connection is located at the bottom of the SCX-10. You can use a 15-pin sub-D for the general I.O. connection for like your sensors, your counter, etc. A 24-volt power supply is required to power the SCX-10 and a PC for programming. Note that a 25-pin sub-D connector and a 15-pin sub-D connector are not supplied. I'd like to show the system configuration example. You can use the Change Layout button located on the upper right-hand corner of your screen to switch between the whiteboard and the video feed. Here at the top, we have the SCX-10 Universal Stepping Motor Controller. It's connected to a 24-volt power supply to power the SCX-10. For today's purpose, I'm connected via RS-232 communication. Uh, at the bottom here, I have the 25-pin sub-D driver connector. This connects to the driver giving the driver the pulse and direction signals. Next to that is the external encoder connector, which is where the encoder connects so that the SCX-10 can monitor the feedback and position error. Off to the side here is the 15-pin general I.O.
The SCR-10 is $385 each. It's typically available to ship same day, and it'll work with any stepping motor or servo motor drive that accepts pulse and direction. I'd like to thank you for watching our SCX-10 product video. Please continue to view our SCX-10 programming video for additional features and basic programming instructions for the SCX-10. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-GOLVEXTA or email us at techsupport at orientalmotor.com.